welcome to My Own Worst Enemy. This is going to be an, another unboxing video. Uh, we are looking at The Tide at Sunrise, the Russo-Japanese War, 1904-1905 by Multiman Publishing. Uh, so this was a, let's see, this is, I don't know much about this uh, time period. Um, this is right before uh, World War I. And this is basically, um, so there was some imperialistic eyes uh, looking towards uh, Manchuria, Korea area uh, from both Japan and Russia at the time. And basically you had a, a Japan that was rapidly modernizing, very rapidly modernizing. And you had a Russia that was uh, modernized to an extent, but I think a lot more uh, confident in their abilities than what, what they really were. Um, and so this, um, this is the start of, I guess, um, that conflict. Uh, you can see here, February 1904, Japan attacked Imperial Russia to determine the fate of Manchuria, Korea. So I thought we would take a look at this, and we will definitely get it to the table and do a playthrough at some point. Uh, and you can see that solitaire suitability is high and it says low complexity. So let's take a look inside and see what we get. And I'll set this lid aside here. And of course we get a, um, our nice little, uh, thank you for our purchase. And if you have problems, where to, what to do to resolve those issues. Um, and so I will set the, Set the game board or the uh, the box aside for a second, and we will take a look at the uh, rule book, which is very thin. So it's uh, I guess this is not a huge game, smaller game. And okay, so this is one of those um, really nice rule books again. I love the uh, and of course I think this has probably become the standard for uh, rule books these days. You get these nice colored uh, glossy sheets. Um, there's some of the counters that we will be seeing, some of the game turn markers. Uh, let's take a look at the table of contents real quick. And it looks like I'm looking for uh, just overall to see if there's a, uh, it's the standard stuff, sequence of play, movement, combat, supply. Looking for the, um, see if there's a playthrough example. Don't see that, but that doesn't mean anything right now. Um, so one thing I will say uh, as we look through this rule book, there's uh, Multiman has on their website, you can download naval rules for this game. Uh, there's, I don't, I think this, uh, I think the game includes naval units, uh, counters, but no naval rules. Uh, there's a section here, it says naval combat. So I'm not sure what, I, and I've downloaded what was at Multiman. I haven't really looked at it yet. Uh, I think it's, it might be more advanced rules than what you're given in this. Um, I don't know if it's more advanced rules or if it's just uh, better rules for, for naval combat. And I know that uh, reading a little bit about this battle, this, well, this war, um, they're really the naval aspect really wasn't all that uh, uh Involved is that the right word? It was certainly interesting. If you go back and read, <laughs> if you go back and read about um, how Russia actually uh, tried to get their naval fleet to this area, it's it's, it's interesting reading. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so here's sequence of play, uh, stacking and movement, just the standard things. It is a very small. Like I said, this is um, there aren't many rules here. There is just some supply. It looks like. So this should be a quick one to learn, probably a quick one to play. And I, I, there's the setup. I'm assuming that there's not a lot of scenarios, if any. Maybe it's just the one, the one scenario. And there's the victory conditions on the back of that. And let me grab this box again. We'll continue our dig into it. Uh, looks like we do get two. Let me get this back on camera here. It looks like we do get two. 2d6, you get a red and a white one, not blue and gray like we've been seeing. Still don't know why they're mostly blue and gray. Uh, well, here's the map. Let's take a look at that in just one second. And the counter sheet. So, again, not a very large game, it's a smaller game. Um, and so here we have the counter sheet. 
nice looking counters. I do like I do like what I see. Not many units. I mean, there's um, your cavalry and infantry, it looks like, and some artillery, uh, some just markers. I do see, there looks like there's um, a lot more naval stuff than I thought I was going to see based on what I was reading on the, on the forums. Uh, it looks like there's, there's um, I'm not sure what the naval rules on the multi-man publishing are all about. I think it's probably a, Probably more of a corrected um, naval thing. Well, once when I do the playthrough, I'll talk more about what I discover as I read through uh, what I downloaded from Multiman uh, Publishing. Those those optional naval rules or those advanced naval rules, and we will see what those are all about. But in the meantime, like I said, these counters are really nice looking. Um, you know, on the back side, it looks like. Yeah, it's just as you uh, take your hits, you flip the counters. Standard stuff. Nice looking counters. I think these would probably um, probably punch out pretty easily. And of course, I don't know. Let's try to punch one out and see. Um, that's fairly easy. But of course, it will require some uh, corners to be clipped. So I will definitely do that. Uh, so, okay, that was very fast, <laughs> very fast going through the rule book and the counter sheet. And finally, the map, which actually looks like, get these dice out of the way, actually looks like a fairly large map. Um, is this upside down? No. Let's just put this down. I can get most of it on the board here or the table. A nice looking map. Um. You got the game turn. Let's see. Can you see that? We have the game turn area up here. Uh, that looks like probably combat tables, uh, replacement points, naval combat up here. Um, and of course, it's it's laid out such that you 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 have uh, your side. You're looking at your combat tables and reference charts here, and your opponent, of course, would be sitting on the other side of the table looking at uh, his version of that. Of course, you know, we're doing we're going to do the solo. <laughs> so we don't need that extra set up there. We just need one over here. Now, I don't know if I'll do this in tabletop simulator or if I will um actually try to do this on the uh the game table here, but I do I have to say it does look nice on the game table. That is a that is a nice looking map. Uh all right, so again, that was really quick, real fast unboxing. I just wanted to um show you what was inside of the game. And take a look at what the tide at sunrise looks like. So I will do a playthrough of this at some point. I'm looking forward to it. And um, again, once I do, I will I'll definitely go back and circle around and check out those naval rules and see which ones we want to use for the playthrough. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not familiar with this time period. I haven't done much reading on the uh, Russo-Japanese War. It is interesting, though. Um, that, you know, you had this European power Russia thinking that they were going to walk all over Japan. And of course, Japan just kind of whacked them upside the head <laughs> and sent them packing. Uh, also kind of ominous for what would happen with Japan later on in the year. So again, uh, thanks for watching this unboxing and please come back and look for a playthrough of The Tide at Sunrise, the Russo-Japanese War by Multiman Publishing.